In today's video, we'll be taking a look at what happened to this poor little guy, and trying not to get hypnotized by this mesmerizing creature. Sponge Crab. With its sea sponge beret and fluffy coat, this crab has to be one of the most fashionable crabs in our waters. A specimen washed ashore on a bench near Denmark, Western Australia, and was recently classified as a new species. The family that found the crab sent it off to the Western Australian Museum for identification, and experts realized that it was an undescribed species. Further analysis of crab specimens in the collection found that some were indeed in the Lamarck Dromia beagle. That's a long name, so I'm just going to call it the sponge crab. The crab is a member of the Dromidae family of sponge crabs, which uses sea sponges and ascidians for protection, particularly sponges that generate unpleasant compounds to repel predators. Instead of being directly linked to the crabs, the sponges and squirts are held in position by tiny pincers on the rear legs. The beagle term is derived from its brown coloration, like a beagle, and the HMS Beagle ship, which Charles Darwin journeyed on between 1831 and 1836. His discoveries during this tour, which included stops in Australia, the Galapagos Island, and Tierra del Fuego, contributed to his evolutionary theory. Tapir Frog A little frog with an amazing snout has been discovered in the Peruvian Amazon, scientists revealed in February 2022. The frog lives in the Putamayo River Basin, which flows through Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Brazil. The new species was discovered on an expedition to learn more about the basin's mystery amphibian inhabitants. The frog's most recognizable characteristic, though, is a long, projecting snout like that of a tapir, a pig-like hoofed creature with a unique trunk. The frog's schnoz form suggests a life spent nosing in soft, damp soils. This frog's considerable snout and likeness of the Amazonian tapir may make it seem like a simple find. Regenerating Slug when investigating sea slugs in her lab one day, Sayaka Mito, an ecologist at Nara Women's University in Japan, described the situation as like a horror movie. One of the slimy aquatic animals had lost its body, and the head was now crawling over the tank's floor. They expected it to die fast because it lacked a heart and other important organs, but strangely, it didn't happen. Within a few days, the slug's entire body began to regrow. By the end of the month, everything had returned to normal. The exceptional recovery had been observed in simpler life forms, such as hydra and flatworms. However, it's nearly unheard of in complex animals such as sea slugs. The slug's leaf-shaped bodies and green color may explain how their severed heads may survive on their own, however. Sea slugs in the genus Elysia are known as solar-powered sea slugs. This is because they steal the green pigmented photosynthesis engines from the algae that they eat. According to Mito, the slug's digestive glands are dispersed across its entire body surface, including the head. They're capable of maintaining these hijacked components of cellular machinery alive for weeks or months. Penis Snake Get your giggles out. Either way, don't worry, the penis snake is entirely safe for work. Despite the fact that it appears exactly how you'd expect, though. Maybe a little NSFW. The unique animal acquired its risque nickname because of its look. A broad, bulbous head atop a thick, cylindrical, fleshy body. Although it does look like a snake, the phallic squirmer is actually a limbless amphibian, which is extremely rare. According to Monga Bay, this phallic snake was discovered in Brazil while engineers were constructing a dam on the Madeira River near Rondania. Six of the strange creatures were discovered at the time. Julian Tapan, a biologist, identified the animal as a form of Sicilian. More specifically, a Tritochoana icelti. This aquatic species lacks back legs and lungs, and is supposed to breathe through its skin. Dupont, who was employed by the corporation constructing the dam, revealed what little was known about the penis snake. They're not reptiles, despite their appearance, and are more closely related to salamanders and frogs. They believe the animal breathes via its skin and feeds on small fish and worms, but nothing has been verified. The Amazon is a basket of surprises when it comes to reptiles and amphibians. There's yet a great deal more to be found. Pink Fairy Armadillo it's the world's tiniest armadillo species, and possibly the cutest. The Pink Fairy Armadillo is a nocturnal species from central Argentina that's about the size of a dollar bill. Pink Fairy Armadillos have a shell or carapace like other armadillos, but it's softer, thinner, and more flexible, covering roughly half of their body. The pink tint of the shell is caused by all of the blood veins along its surface. Because armadillos have low body temperatures and metabolic rates, their fur helps them stay warm. It isn't a fairy, sadly, but it may be just as difficult to study since it spends most of its existence underground. Sightings in the wild are so rare that one armadillo researcher spent 13 years working in its environment without ever seeing one. 
As a result, scientists know little to nothing about its population number or trends. They're tough to examine since they're elusive and can't thrive outside of their natural habitat. Taking a pink fairy armadillo away from its home almost invariably results in the animal's death. Approximately 95% perish within 8 days of being removed from their natural habitat. Because they're so elusive, researchers must derive behavioral conclusions from the handful that survive in captivity. Dumbo Octopus the roughly 12 different species that make up the Grim Patuthis are referred to as the Dumbo Octopuses because of their two huge fins, one on either side of the mantle that stick out like ears. The octopus's diminutive size, which is usually around 8 inches, short arms, bell-shaped body, pale coloring, and prosperity to hover above the seafloor combine to make it a cephalopod that is frequently referred to as the cutest octopus in the world. Dumbo octopuses are the deepest surviving octopuses known to science, dwelling up to 13,000 feet below the ocean's surface and oceans all over the world. They devour snails, worms, and other things they find on the ocean floor. They are surret octopuses, a type of deep-sea octopus with slender protrusions. These protrusions are called Siri, and they trail from their suckers. The role of Siri is not known, however it is considered to have something to do with feeding. They move through the water by flapping their powerful fins, rather than by expelling water violently from their siphons like other octopuses do. Swimming is aided by the webbing between their arms. Bloody Belly Comb Jelly Deep ocean exploration vessels have discovered a plethora of unusual jellies throughout the years, but the Bloody Belly Comb Jelly has to be the most bizarre. The Macomb Blob of the Deep not only has a disturbing name, but it also looks like an alien who would quietly subjugate humans. Just watch this clip while it waves in the water, but only if you're certain you won't get hypnotized. Despite not being actual jellyfish, comb jellies exhibit several jellyfish-like traits. There's still a lot to learn about this species, and for other species, these blood-red jellyfish are practically invisible. blood belly comb jellies reside in the twilight zone, where there's minimal light. At depths this low, red coloring is advantageous since you can't see red wavelengths. Because they appear black, predators cannot see them. Despite seeming dark to predators, these jellies flash brilliant red in the presence of light. Their bodies display a variety of reds, but the stomach is continuously deep blood red. The blood red color of their stomachs most likely conceals the bioluminescence produced by the animals they feed, concealing them from predators' eyes. The Monterey Bay Aquarium photographed blood belly comb jellies pooping for the first time in early 2022, and their feces look like glitter. The feces shines, most likely due to the bioluminescent plankton they consume. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's photo looks like a weird baby of some creature. What could it possibly be? Baby Roo. Although the picture looks like some sort of baby pig with bluish eyes, it's actually not real and is edited. What it really is is a photo of a baby kangaroo. But this isn't just any regular roo because it has quite a sad story. After being ejected from its mother's pouch, this newborn red kangaroo is being kept alive by staff at Winnipeg's Assiniboine Park Zoo. When the four-month-old female was discovered defenseless on the floor of the kangaroo enclosure a few days ago, she weighed only 560 grams. According to what the veterinarian could tell, one of the kangaroos was likely startled by something, and when the animals are startled in the wild, they often act in the same way. They'll throw the joey out of the pouch, its natural adaptation to ensure survival of the mother. They can lower their load and run quickly and escape a predator. Or the predator may stop and devour the baby, and then the mother gets away. Workers at the zoo have been feeding this infant named Ruby formula every three hours to boost its prospects, and it appears to be working. The zoo's doctor said there's every reason to anticipate that Ruby will keep improving. Ghost Shark In February of 2022, scientists discovered a newborn ghost shark that had just emerged from its egg off the South Island of New Zealand. Because of its peculiar appearance, the shark gained widespread attention. These secretive creatures, more properly known as chimeras, are rarely seen and nothing is known about them. Even less is known about their offspring, which were discovered for the first time in 2002. These deep-sea creatures reside at depths of between 400 and 6,600 feet where water temperatures are near freezing. Their macabre nature comes from their dead eyes and enormous wing-like fins, which makes them better suited to fight. Ghost sharks, despite their name, are a kind of fish with a cartilage-based skeleton as opposed to a bone-based one. They don't belong to the shark family. For life to survive at those depths, a low-density skeleton like cartilage is essential since it won't break down under greater pressure. They do, however, lay egg capsules on the seafloor, much like sharks. The egg capsule shields the embryo as it develops, feeding on a yolk until it's ready to hatch. See you all next time!